We are kicking off an exciting week and an exciting month in Evansville as we welcome the Ohio Valley Conference Basketball champion Championships back to the city. Uh, we are fortunate that the OVC has asked us to uh, host the tournament again, and I can tell you the buzz around this year's tournament uh, is even greater given the outstanding Division I talent that is in uh, this year's field. Uh, we have several outstanding uh, athletes in these match uh, matchups that we'll see this week that are drawing uh, act, uh, interest from NBA scouts near and far. Uh, I hope fans can come out and take advantage of seeing what could be an NBA lottery top three pick in Murray State's Ja uh, Morant playing here at the Ford Center. Uh, he is up for several National Player of the Year awards as a small forward standout, as is small store I'm sorry, as is small forward standout Dylan Windler from Belmont. Dylan is a finalist for the Senior Class Award and the Julius Irving Small Forward of the Year. So lots going on on the mid side. And let's not forget Evansville native uh, Mara Minsterman from Belmont. Uh, Mara played for Modern Day and is averaging nearly 10 points a game uh, for the Bruins, who won the ladies' championship last year here in the Ford Center. It's a great week and a great month for hotels and businesses and volunteers, once again, who've all put their best foot forward to welcome the OVC uh, to Evansville. Uh, we have an exciting week uh, planned with tip-off starting tomorrow. In fact, uh, tomorrow is E is for Everyone Day, where local fans can get in for five bucks for the women's game starting at one, and 10 bucks for men's game starting at 6.30. In fact, we have a number of discounts all week uh, to ensure fans of all ages get to come in and watch these exciting teams play and compete. And they'll all all those uh, deals are listed in uh, the press count in the press release today. Uh, it's now my pleasure to introduce OVC Commissioner Beth uh, Beth DeBush, who's going to talk more about the exciting week ahead. Beth. Good morning, everyone. On behalf of the Ohio Valley Conference membership, it is my pleasure just to extend our enthusiasm and gratitude to again hold the OVC Basketball Championships here at the Ford Center and in the Evansville community. I know the state song says back home in Indiana, but for the OVC, it also feels like coming back home. For a conference that is named after the Ohio River Valley, it's fitting that we have our championship here on the banks of the Ohio River and Evansville. And that warm welcome and that sense of home, we understand, does not come just easily. It's the result of a lot of hard work by this local community in rolling out the red carpet for our 12 member institutions. So a sincere thanks to Mr. Mayor for all your leadership and guidance to the local organizing committee. Steve Schaefer, Jim Sangren for your vision and for caring about our championship as much as we do. Additionally, we need to thank Eric Marvin and his team. You have become family to us. We talk regularly and we're grateful for all your hard work and dedication. And certainly to our friends at the Ford Center who have made us feel so welcome. Scott Shonaki and his team who have worked very, very hard on our behalf. And then finally, I need to acknowledge Joe Taylor and visit Evansville, who has become a fast friend and a supporter of this championship. Now, this marks the second year of our OBC championships being held here at the Ford Center in Evansville. And I can assure you, we will not experience a sophomore slump. We are going to build on the friendships and foundations that have been established in our team led by Travis Teletasi, our tournament manager, and Kyle Schwartz of their media team, and the entire staff is working very hard along with our partners here in Evansville to make sure that we are focused on the overall student athlete experience because that's what we heard from our participants last year. They love the experience here with this championship, so that will be our focus. Now, this league has a long and storied history. We are in our 71st year, and we've long been focused on basketball success. And over our years, we've had a number of good basketball seasons, but this clearly has been a terrific basketball season for OBC basketball. So again, it is fitting that the 56th Men's Championship be conducted here. Now, for those that are able to come to the championship, what you can anticipate is some great competition. You'll also notice when you go into the venue, then in addition to seeing the OVC logo, you'll see the logo for Visit Evansville. 
as Visit Evansville is now the presenting sponsor of this championship, again demonstrating the partnership that has been developed. While at this championship, you will see our regular season champ on the women's side, Belmont, having earned its third straight championship, going for its fourth championship tournament banner. And on the men's side, you'll see our co-champions, Murray State, which is winning its second consecutive regular season title, and Belmont, which has won its fifth and seventh year titles, going for that championship at well. You'll see some outstanding coaches. We have a number of young, dynamic coaches. Last year already, you saw Bart Brooks of Belmont lead the team to a championship run, and Matt McMahon and Murray State also leading the Murray State Racers to their championship. You'll also see some veteran coaches. Ray Harper at Jacksonville State has local Western Kentucky ties, and Rick Bird of Belmont has won his 800th game this season as a Division I coach. And that's quite a mark. He's only one of five coaches currently in Division I to have won that many games. So certainly we are blessed with a number of good coaches. And as the mayor has already referenced, we have outstanding student athletes this year. And it's worth the price of admission just to see them play. It's about team, but we are fortunate in this league to have some true stars this year on behalf of the conference. We will get started tomorrow, Wednesday at one o'clock. We will tip off on the women's side. The first game will feature our eighth seed, Southeast Missouri, as you'll see in the bracket, against our number one seed, Belmont. On the women's side, we have a traditional seeding format where one plays eight, seven plays two, and so on. The second game will be at three o'clock. Then we'll go to the men's side for the evening. And the men's bracket's slightly different. The past nine years, we've had a merit-based format to our basketball tournament, meaning the top finishing institutions either receive a buy or a double buy into the tournament. So we'll actually start tomorrow evening based on that buy structure with the fifth seed, Moorhead State, playing against the eighth seed, Southern Illinois at Edwardsville, and then closing out the evening with Eastern Illinois playing University of Tennessee at Martin. So it sets up for a good start to this overall tournament. We have a number of ticket features for the local community, welcoming the local Evansville community tomorrow to the women's games at only $5 per ticket for the day sessions and $10 for Evansville residents for the evening session. And then Thursday as we progress, we have a senior discount available for the women's games. And then we have an admissions fair on Thursday night where all 12 of the OBC institutions will be here talking about their member institutions, encouraging, gathering information for prospective students looking to go to our fine schools. And that's free of charge for all families that want to attend. And certainly then they're welcome to stay to the basketball games as well. On Friday, we will move on to additional good games. We'll have a fast break benefit available to those that want to come Friday afternoon. And then for youth basketball student athletes, there'll be an opportunity for those coming with their jerseys to come to the games for free and their families can receive a discount as they attend. Friday going into our championship, we will also have a feature that is sponsored by German American Bank that allows for four tickets, a soda, and a hot dog for families coming to the women's game for $40 and then the benefit of a $60 ticket for families again to come back for the men's championship that evening. Now, all these games can be featured on the ESPN family of networks. We have an expanded relationship with ESPN. We've long been an ESPN partner. Most of the games will be on ESPN+. Plus. Our semifinal games on Friday night will be on ESPNU starting at 7 o'clock. And our championship game Saturday evening will be on ESP ESPN2, again, featuring Evansville. And we're delighted for that ESPN exposure that we're able to provide. So certainly I encourage you to come to the event. It will be good fun for all. And thanks to the, again to the city of Evansville for this warm welcome and presenting such a wonderful platform for this great series of championships. Good morning. I just want to uh, very quickly officially welcome Beth and the Ohio Valley Conference on behalf of the Evansville Sports Corporation as well. Uh, it is an honor for us to work with uh, this presti prestigious institution to host this event. Uh, as she said, the, the, the conference truly does feel like family to our staff. 
Uh, they're phenomenal to work with in all rights, and it's going to be an incredible uh, week of basketball here ahead. Um, it's going to be an incredible month of basketball here in Evansville as well. Obviously, we got a lot of uh, phenomenal activity going on here at the Ford Center. As the mayor said, uh, there is an energy and buzz with this event uh, that, that's incredible. It goes above and beyond what we experienced last year, and we had what, such a phenomenal event last year. It's hard to imagine that that is, is possible here this year. Uh, Beth and, and the mayor have already talked about all the reasons behind that, so I won't go go into that. I just want to highlight a couple things for you here uh, as we finish up today. One, um, tickets uh, are going fast. Uh, ticket sales have been great to, to this point, and so uh, we certainly encourage people uh, to go ahead and, and purchase tickets uh, even, even now early in the week, uh, especially for those Friday evening and Saturday games uh, as tickets are selling rapidly um, here as we speak. Um, the committee uh, that is behind this event, the, our local organizing committee that's worked very closely with, with Beth and Travis and the Ohio Valley Conference staff, uh, has worked very hard to try to add some extra uh, uh, fun to this event as well. And uh, I just want to cover a couple things. One, uh, as Beth mentioned, um, new to the event this year and, and something that I think is, is very special for this event overall uh, is the Ohio Valley Conference Admissions Fair sponsored by the U.S. Army ROTC on Thursday from 5 to 6.30. Again, this is a great opportunity for our local Evansville community uh, to connect with the, the 12 outstanding institutions that are a part of the Ohio Valley Conference and anyone that attends that event gets a free admission uh, or a free ticket to the games that evening. So this is an incredible offer and the conference has done a great job this year in trying to make some really uh, you know, affordable and, and fun opportunities for the community to engage and connect with this event. So certainly want to encourage uh, any high school students that may be um, out there that have an interest in, in attending uh, to come on out on Thursday night. Uh, we do, are encouraging them to pre-register uh, on, on the website, which is ovcsports.com backslash Evansville, uh, but uh, they, they will be accepted if, uh, at the gate as well if they do not pre-register. Um, beyond that, again, we've got uh, Friday night youth basketball, which is going to be a lot of fun, but we've got a lot of fun festivities associated with Championship Saturday as well. And um, the women's game, of course, begins at 2 p.m., as Beth mentioned on Saturday, and the men's game at 7. Uh, we, we're going to have a festival-like atmosphere going out on the plaza. Uh, we've got food trucks coming uh, early that afternoon for lunch. There's going to be a beverage tent out there. I have personally talked with some of the alumni groups and fan bases that are planning to take advantage of that, so there's going to be a great uh, atmosphere going on out there. Uh, we'll have a DJ, uh, our, uh, one of our local favorite groups, the Boom Squad is going to perform out on the plaza. Uh, as well as at halftime of the championship game. Um, we, we've got a lot of, uh, you know, additional small activities planned as well that'll really make this feel like more than just a basketball game and be a great overall experience for anyone that wants to come out. Um, so encourage everyone to attend that, of course. Uh, the weather uh, forecast right now is looking great for Saturday. Um, I don't want to jinx anything, so I'll leave it at that. But uh, hopefully the, the weather cooperates and, and we have a great uh, you know, setup out there lined up for everyone. With that said, again, we certainly want to just encourage everybody to come out to what's going to be an incredible kickoff uh, to the postseason of basketball here in Evansville. Um, again, we're so grateful for this partnership with the Ohio Valley Conference. Look forward to this week and, and next year as well, and looking uh, you know, to continue to raise the bar here locally and do everything we can to make this a phenomenal experience for all involved. With that said, I'll turn it back over to the mayor, and thank you all for coming out today. Okay, so uh it's time to proclamate, right? Uh, we are so grateful for the partnership that uh, the city has developed with the OVC, and it's my pleasure to present a special proclamation that reads, whereas for March 6th through the 9th, the city of Evansville and Evansville Sports Corporation host the 2019 Ohio Valley Conference Men's and Women's Basketball Championship at the Ford Center, and whereas the city of Evansville and state of Indiana have a rich basketball history, that includes winning national championships at every collegiate level, producing countless All-Americans and tremendous student-athletes. 
And whereas since opening in 2011, the Ford Center has been the basketball venue for the Division II Great Lakes Valley Championships, the Division II National Championship, and the Small College Basketball Hall of Fame Tournament, thus demonstrating the interest and ability to host postseason college basketball. And whereas the OVC in its 71st year is, in, is and is recognized as the eighth oldest NCAA Division I conference, currently having 12 member schools located in Alabama, Kentucky, Illinois, Missouri, and Tennessee. And whereas the city of Evansville is ready to roll out the red carpet for the OVC and its student athletes who are competing in the 2019 championships with the hope of building a strong partnership with the OVC for future years to come. Therefore, be it resolved that I, Lloyd Winnicky, Mayor of the City of Evansville, do hereby proclaim the week of March 6th through March 9th, 2019 as Ohio Valley Conference Championship Week in the City of Evansville.